hi everybody welcome to my video and in this week's video i am reorganizing the kitchen pantry so just going through doing the same thing that i did in the hall linen closet getting rid of expired food just um, reorganizing everything so that is what i'm working on today so i'm just going to start by first taking everything out and then i'll organize and discard expired food items as I go through taking things out and then I'll work on reorganizing and placing things back um, hopefully in a better manner <laughs> that'll work better for me So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking items out, I'm putting items that are similar together like seasonings and different items, dried goods. So trying to help speed up the process and just start organizing as I go along. Uh, the problem with this small pantry is it goes back so it's deep and so you can easily put things in the back and forget what you have in the back. So that is the issue and the challenge I have with this type of pantry. Prime example of things getting lost, I had double items, you know. I buy things and don't realize that I already have it because it's hidden in the back of the pantry. So I'm gonna try to solve that problem when I reorganize everything. You know, as I look at some of these items, some of these items, it's so hard to find the expiration date and they write it so small. It's like a, you know, a treasure hunt. You're trying to find where the date is. And that took a lot of time trying to find where it was and then being able to read it. Here I go again, getting into the next shelf. So I'm looking for these expiration dates. I find it's really challenging on some of these jars and some of these containers. I mean, they make it very hard to find. <laughs> All right, I admit this part was just awful. I had paper goods mixed in with um, all types of canned items. It's just no order at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, the bottom of the pantry, I'll admit, it was the worst. I had just everything kind of crammed down here. And I really just want to keep my canned goods down there and keep them in a order, orderly way. You know, like separate them by soup, vegetables, fruit, canned meat, different things like that. So, you know, I can easily see what I have. Okay, now that I got most of the clutter out, you can see that I started, I had the cans in a row. So I started out, but I just started putting things, all various types of things on top of it. So everything was hidden. So now I'm just trying to bring some order back to it. You can see my soups, fruits, veggies, and beans. And then I have the tomatoes and the canned meats on the other side. So I'm just getting all the other canned goods, and just finishing out that organization. And if I finish a row, then I start placing cans on top of that particular row. So that's what I'm working on here. I'm sure you're wondering why I have so many canned goods. Well, I like to keep uh, a good storage of food in case of a weather disaster or anything like that. I think it's always good to have plenty of items on hand so you're not caught without food. Okay, so in this area, I'm working on placing my dry goods, like rice, pastas, dry soups, things like that. Okay, I'm trying to be real careful placing items back in because I don't want items to get hidden in the back like they were last time. So what I'm trying to do is um, place items that I use the most in the front and also things that my daughters tend to come and look for. So when you open the pantry, you can easily see it. Also, I wanna be able to see what I have. So if I'll know when I'm out of something, when I need to you know, buy more of it, and so yeah that's what i'm trying to uh, solve that problem in getting this stuff put together All right, I was gonna put a bin in here, a storage bin, the blue storage bin. I had those sauces and stuff in, but I decided not to. Um, I don't know, it's just something about the bins. Um, just not one to use a lot this time. So I'm deciding just to kind of go without those. I think I had one, but the, I think that was about it that I used. Now I'm putting all my paper goods, uh, foil, all those things together at the top. So definitely liking that reorganization. I think I can say I'm pretty much done. I've got everything. I've gotten rid of a lot of junk, expired products, which is here on the floor. These baskets and things, I'm just gonna donate. You know, a lot of people use these baskets and there's nothing wrong with them. But you have to find the system that works best for you and how you think and operate when you cook. So 
I tried to organize things to what I use the most, organize them by different categories. So this may be a disaster for someone else, but I think this will work good for me. Um, also, I'm glad I was able to purge through, get rid of expired goods, get rid of trash, uh, and just kind of organize it a little better. I've organized the bottom section, as you can see, before, and I just need to sweep the floor and mop. I'm gonna do that next, but yeah. So I have the canned goods down here at the bottom. So I have soups here, uh, canned fruit, canned vegetables, canned beans. And then when the first row's done, I stack them on top of each other. So at least I know where my canned vegetables are and I know I just need to look through this row for what I need. Um, <clears throat> I am gonna eventually look into like those clear can organizers, canned food organizers where you can kind of see because there is a fault in this because like if I wanna know if I need um, canned corn. Well, I gotta, you know, pull through all of this, see how much I have. But maybe if I had some kind of clear container where I could see it. Plus, I just have a small pantry, so I, I really just have to work with this. So when I do my shopping list, just look at my canned vegetable roll and just go from there. So this is cream of chicken. I made a roll for that. The canned uh, stocks. I prefer to get the stock in the carton, but I do have a can there and I just wanted to separate it out. I didn't want to include the cream of soups and the stocks with my soup roll because, you know, it'll just help me to know how much I have. Now, I do like to keep the cream of soups on hand. And then on um, this row is the tomato paste, tomato, uh, crushed tomatoes, uh, rotel, those type of things on this aisle and then the canned meats here. Here is more like the dried pastas. So I have macaroni, uh, I have ramen back there, oats here. I'm moving into the breakfast, dried breakfast foods. So cereal here, pancake mix, oats, and I know what I have. So I have all my different seasonings here. And then I have all my dressings. I just had to be really creative because I have such a tight, small space. Here, I got sugar, salts, um, seasonings, peanut butters, sweeteners, flour, panko, um, salt, pepper, and then I, I sorted those to the side so I can kind of read really quickly what I have. My uh, Ziploc storage bags, slow cooker liner bags, my foil sheets, back up for that. I can see how much of everything I have. And then um, I got my oat milk. You don't have to refrigerate that. I have a key, always keep it extra in here. Now all the paper goods, paper cups, you see plastic red cups, you can see just some more of the Ziploc goods. Some of the things that I don't use as much as I use these now here. Uh, spoons, takeaway plates, napkins, plates, bowls, and my uh, oven foil liners there. So, like I said, it may be chaos to other people, but to me, this is way better than what it was. So I'm just doing a slow pan so you can kind of see. If you look at the before, it's very chaotic. So yeah, very much an improvement. <laughs> so I appreciate you watching me, you know, get this organized and um, I'm gonna be working on organizing some more closet spaces. Um, I'm having um, the home painted. And so I had to get this stuff organized and cleaned out just so it wouldn't be so much of a headache. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to do some before and after pics and videos in the end. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, it's time to clean up this mess from the pantry. So I'm going to go ahead and throw away all these expired items and get these baskets um, set aside so I can get those ready for donation and sweep the floor, get it nice and clean.
All right, so here's a quick before picture. And here's the after. A lot more organized, may not be Pinterest worthy, but thank you all for joining me and for watching. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right, before I show the before and afters, I just want to clean up. This is all the mess that was left after cleaning out and reorganizing the pantry. So all of the storage bins I'm going to donate, and this is all trash. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning now. All right, here's a quick before picture of the pantry. Here's the after. Not Pinterest worthy, but it works for us. Thank you so much for joining us in this week's video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.